Um, I don't have a preference um, of musical theatre and television. Um, I got into, uh, you know, I was I was very lucky when when Andrew put me in Hollyoaks because I had said to my agent I wanted to do more television and film and try and get into it. Um, you know, not just do it because it it. it it is a completely different skill, and I learnt that, um, you know, through Hollyoaks, which was great. But um, and I was incredibly lucky to do Land Girls. I mean, that was probably one of the highlights of my career so far. And um, I'm gutted I can't do the next series. But um, I, yeah, I, I, I don't have a preference because I did miss doing the singing and dancing when I was doing the television. So. Um, you know, it's just I'm very been very lucky to ha to be able to acquire that skill, and now films next. <laughs> yeah, I do really want to do film next because um, I I think it would be really fun, and I want to walk down red carpets. I do, you know. I mean, a lot of people say, oh, you know, they shy away from fame, you know, and I don't. I really don't. I I I did for a while. I thought, no, I don't want be famous I don't want to do that but I really do I do want to I think if anyone if I if I would want anyone on anyone's career I would probably say someone like Jennifer Aniston or because because I'm not professing to be Judy Dench or not you know a fantastic RSC actor I don't I would love to be um, with with the, with the right training if I you know if I was asked to, to do something at the RSC or you know um, get that experience but but at the moment I'm not. I like comedy and I like, you know, um, I think I'm kind of fit for that really. Um, so uh, that's another reason why I <laughs> have to keep in shape as well. Coming from a showbiz family is a huge pressure. Um, they wouldn't want me to say that, but I just did. Um, <laughs> because, you know, um, they know what they're talking about a lot of the time. Um, so when they come and see you in a show, if, you know, they might say, a, a normal family, for instance, would say, oh, well done, son, or well done, lass, you're all right, you, you did great. Whereas my family will say, were you wearing tights in that number? You know, it, it's just a different thing. It's, it's all I know, so I don't, you know, I don't miss the other. I, but, um, you know, I... I I just did it, you know, it was just what we did when we were younger, it wasn't, I, I would play a role if someone asked me to do it to the best of my ability, um, there's nothing, no, I mean roles do come up where I think, oh I might be quite good at that or whatever, but I, but I think I'm more like that now than I was when I was younger, I'm more, um, you know, I know what I'm suited for, so, uh, whereas then I, I didn't know, I didn't know who I was, you know, whether I was wanted to be a dancer or a singer, or because at the first Scarlet was the dancer and I was the singer, and now she's sort of the soprano singer and I'm sort of the all-rounder, you know, so, so I, I didn't really know what was going on, and I've just let my career, I've been very lucky in, you know, Ashwood, that um, things have come at the right time, you know, and I, I'm a firm believer of things happen for a reason. I mean, I was doing Drowsy Chaperone for, and we, it closed after two months, which was a travesty. So that closed, and then the Hollyoaks thing came up with Andrew, and then, and then I, you know, had a bit of time off and did something with, Par uh, with Opera North, and that helped me with singing for the album, and then, you know, and, and Andrew asked me to do the album, so, you know, it all, it's just been a crazy puzzle just gone like that, you know. Meeting Sierra is like incredible. You know, one of those things I've just taken I had so many things gifts from the universe thrown at me. Um and that's probably what my childhood was, you know. Maybe I didn't wasn't good at not not good because I was fine, I was adequate at academic, but you know, maybe that's why I wasn't a bookworm or, you know, someone that invo enjoyed that because this was what I was supposed to do. Do I like Meg? I love Meg because she's like me. <laughs> um, she's, there's a lot of me in her. Um, you know, um, I think that, you know, when she gets to the end, it's, it, 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 it's not like me in the way that she's very weak. Um, but when you've been beaten down, um, 
through no one's fault and not hers, and, you know, when you've, when you've just been that person for 10 years, um, you would be weak. So, um, yeah, I do like her. I think, I think Meg is, uh, is a tortured soul, and uh, I think everyone is, aren't they? <laughs>